Let's now come on to tenant repairs. Is it the tail wagging the dog? So um, you need to always balance out, is this a correct repair that's being reported or is a tenant taking the mickey? And you'll have a bit of both. I would suggest about 20% are tenants taking the mickey, 80% are correctly reported. And annoyingly, it's when they don't report it and they go, oh yeah, that's been going on for a month. What? You've had a leak for a month. <sighs> now I've got to repaint the whole room, whereas I could have just put a new washer on a tap a month ago. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So always inspect before starting, which, which um, in the short run when you're running to stand still feels counterintuitive because like, let me just send a handyman out. But what's your time cost as opposed to a call out charge and a handyman? So always check that the repair is actually needed, which is exactly what you guys did. When is the tenant charged? It's when the tenant has caused it. I will always charge a tenant when they've caused it. I will never charge a tenant when they haven't caused it. Dead simple, isn't it? Um, we've got a repair spreadsheet. We track the cost, we track the time, and we track what the repair is. And then because we run on drive and we use spreadsheets still, um, we identify, is it a joke because we've got a full-time handyman or is it something that we need to organize, which would typically be plumbers and electricians because of building regs requirements and Joe isn't qualified for plumbing and ele electricity. And then we would identify the date it was reported. And then what will happen is if it's for Joe, he will then go into that spreadsheet and he will then uh, identify the date he delivered it and put any comments. And we will do as big an explanation as possible because if you just go, to, um, there's a leak, well, come on, give as much explanation as possible. It allows Joe to think things through in advance. So we want to also track when was it reported, when was it delivered upon. And I want only my KPIs, I want only five outstanding repairs at the end of every month with the portfolio my size is quite difficult to achieve. Otherwise, we'll then track, is it something that we need to do? So, for example, Albion Road, we have a bathroom that's needed done and the plumber's taken forever and I'm just about to junk him and, do an, and have a new plumber because it should have been done a month ago and I'm... I'm on the roof with irritation with that one. 